Sony's unique S-Air technology is extremely reliable at creating great quality of sound wirelessly throughout your home. From time to time you may experience some interruption in this due to the popularity of our systems that your neighbor may have the same system. In this circumstance, repairing the speaker to a different channel may be required. I'm going to walk through how to do that with us right now. The first stage in pairing is to access the S-Air menu inside of the main system. For this you'll need to obtain the AV system remote. On the remote you need to first press system menu and then use the toggle buttons on the menu until S-Air menu is displayed. When this is displayed you then press the middle enter button until pairing is displayed. Once pairing is displayed on the actual system display, we have to then change the ID number on the back of both the wireless receiver and the back of the system. When we turn around the receiver, we can easily see the S-Air ID. There's A, B, or C. Factory default comes as A. However, if we're receiving interference from neighborhood systems, this can be adjusted to either B or C. You can easily adjust the switch to whichever letter and then also correspondingly done on the back of the main system needs to be switched to the same letter as well. Returning back to the main display panel of the system, we'll then initiate pairing. Pairing is activated by pressing the entering button and start will come on your screen. Once this is activated, we also have to start pairing on the wireless receiver client. This can be done by pressing the small pairing button and the red light on the back of the system will flash to show that it's pairing. Once the actual ID is confirmed on both the receiver and the wireless client, pairing complete will be displayed on the front display panel of the player showing that we're active as well as the red light turns to solid red on the back of the wireless receiver. This concludes the pairing process. While repairing is rare, this does give us the flexibility in case we do have interference from neighboring systems. This same pairing process would apply whether we're using the rear wireless speakers or the wireless client. Thank you for watching and please see convergineer.ca for additional videos, tutorials and trainings.